Hey, it is Dave from Gravity Wiz. I am very pleased to offer a warm welcome to Advanced Calculations 1.1, along with its highlight feature, the ability to do string-based comparisons in your calculation formulas. Now that is gonna be best demonstrated with a real world example. So let's jump into this little demo I've cooked up. So here we have a mortgage calculator. Specifically, it's calculating the monthly payment for our users. They're just curious about, hey, what type of loan um, will give me what kind of monthly payment? Uh, it also factors in the interest rate and the loan amount. And the way that we're gonna use this is by first allowing the customer or user to select a type of loan. You can see we have a few different types here and each type has a specific value that we will use for comparison in our formula. So below we have our average interest rate field and this is gonna use advanced calculations new feature to compare the, to compare the value in field seven which is the loan type field with uh, to just determine which type was selected. So in this case, if fixed rate 30 is selected, it will give a 7% average interest rate. If fixed rate 15, it will be six. If adjustable rate 10, one, it's five. And then if it's the adjustable rate five, one, it will give a 4% average interest rate. Now the whole point of this average interest rate is that we wanna give the user just something uh, of a baseline for the, what to expect on their mortgage. And the one limitation of using a calculation field to do this is that they may actually already know their interest rate or they may want to just explore different interest rates to see how they impact the actual monthly payment. And calculation fields are read only by default. So we're gonna do something really cool here. We're gonna use copycat, which is already enabled, and we're gonna copy the value from this field, field ID five, to this field, field ID nine. So now whenever this changes, this will get the new value. Now down here, we have the loan amount. We're using the currency setting uh, for the number format. And then lastly, we have the monthly, pay the monthly payment. Now the monthly payment is hooked up to our loan amount. And it's also listening for our interest rate field here. And then it just packages all, packages all of that up into a beefy formula that will calculate the monthly payment. So let's see what this looks like on the front end. So you can see here, we have the fixed rate selected. It gives us the seven interest rate, 7% 7 interest rate. Our loan amount, it defaults to 450. And then we can see that the monthly payment is calculated as such. Now, if we were to change this, you'll see that the interest rate changes and so does the monthly payment. We go down here. And so we can actually get our monthly payment pretty low if we're willing to take the risk of an adjustable rate mortgage. That's all for now. Uh, this is gonna be an awesome release. You can check for empty values, um, by the way, by doing something like this. Uh, and you can check if it has a value at all by just doing something like that. So there's lots of other things available to you with this new ability to compare against strings. This was just one example and I hope you liked it. Take it easy, have a great day, and check out Advanced Calculations 1.1. Thanks so much. Bye.